was murdered and that sucks and that's awful and that's horrible, right? We don't want to see people get murdered. If you do, well, I don't know what to do, man. Um, but no one wants to see someone get murdered, okay? But why is it this case? There's so many murders that happen on a daily basis that barely graze the back pages of the local newspaper. I mean, shit, like, I live 40 minutes from San Francisco. I'm sure there's a two, three, mur two, three shootings that happen every month. None of them even fucking make the news at 11. Barely. They talk about it for a minute and then they move on. Shit happens, right? That's the media. But why is everyone obsessed with Gabby Petito? Like, yeah, like her fiance came back, but like, haven't these true crime cases happened before? And they don't really get nationwide coverage. Unless you're like Ted Bundy or like Edmund Kemper, some crazy serial killer. Like this is just a true crime case. And then, and then, and then I was like, all right. I was looking and I was looking and I was looking. And the answer was right in front of me the whole time. I think one of the main reasons why people are so sensationalized over this case. And I look at a picture of Gabby Petito. It's very simple. She's Gen Z. She's blonde. She's white. And, and the cherry on top. She's good looking. That's why. That's why this case. I feel like that's why one of the re main reasons why this case is popular is because Gabby Petito is a small white girl who looks like, quote unquote, America's darling. That's what the news can label this whole thing as. And at the end of the day, the news is looking to sell things. The news is looking to sell this case to the masses who are watching their various networks. And that is what happened in the case of Gabby Petito, unfortunately. I, again, I don't want to take away anything from the fact that she passed away and that's awful. And I, you know, for the life of me, uh, hope that I send condolences to her family and anyone who was affected by the death of Gabby Petito. But the reality is, if this was someone of color, do you think they would have gotten the same media coverage? If this was someone who wasn't hot, would they have gotten the same media coverage? I mean, look at the true crime cases that have popularized the trend of true crime. A lot of them involve white women that are good looking. It's a fact. America has this weird thing when it comes to true crime that they don't really care about the many men and women of color that are missing on a daily basis. But they really like to focus on these, you know, innocent white girls for some weird reason. It's it's really weird. And I think that's one of the main reasons why this case has been popularized. It's all over TikTok. You want to talk, you search up Gabby Petito on TikTok there is millions upon millions of results. There's a stay-at-home mom in like Nebraska or some shit that has every detail on this case that's covering the case from TikTok and has amassed a huge following because of it. Because of it. And I think people are interested. I mean, yes, she's Gen Z. Yes, she was an influencer, which is massive. So like people, you know, get on that whole like, oh, like, you know, Gabby Petito was an influencer, but she wasn't like a big influencer. Mind you, this wasn't like a, you know, Charlie D'Amelio status. You you know, she was like your average, like 2000 follower on Instagram blogger, right. Or influencer or something like that. She wasn't anything crazy. Um, but I, I understand, you know, why this case is popularized is because, I mean, I think definitely race has something to do with this. If you don't think race has something to do with this, I'd be curious to hear why it also has to do with the fact that she has, she is a, a good looking human like that. That doesn't help that that does help her case in terms of the media covering it like sex sells that's rule number one of advertising and if most of the media like people that you know like gabby petito is a sympathetic figure if you think about it right she's someone you look at you search for a picture of gabby petito online you can it's very very simple as to why you understand why america is obsessed with this is because number one Women or moms and, you know, older women look at this, like who, who watches the news? Okay. Let's start there. Who watches the news? It's older people, right? So older men and older women, older women are watching the news sitting there like, oh, that could have been my granddaughter, right? Oh, that could have been my daughter. 
I mean, presuming they're white. Older men are sitting there thinking the same thing. That she has that innocent look to her. And that 100%, whether you like it or not, helps her case. It really does. And I think that's one of the reasons. Obviously, yes, you know, the fact that she's young and this whole thing with Brian, you know, coming back to Florida and all that is crazy. I admit it's a it's a pretty crazy case. But I think if you you are not like fully understanding, if you don't admit that be, her being white and attractive has anything to do with the fact that this case is getting the coverage that it is. It's true. It's true. What has the news media been doing with police and school shootings for years? They refuse to call school shootings domestic terrorism, even though they are. They are domestic terrorism. I mean, I don't I don't understand what like why do they call them? Oh, they're just school shooters. They won't call them domestic terrorists. They are. They are domestic terrorists. I mean, they're they're killing people on U.S. soil. Why can't we call them domestic terrorists? They're killing masses of people on U.S. soil. Why can't we call them domestic terrorists? But oh. As soon as a brown man, you know, were to do the same thing, it's a terrorist attack. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm just going to leave it like that. Yeah, you know, that's going to get a lot of people heated. And yeah, that's going to get people like, no, no, Gabby Petito's more, more than that, you know? And that's fine. And I again, no disrespect to Gabby Petito at all, at all. Zero disrespect to Gabby Petito. I want to make that very, very clear. Zero disrespect to her. Her family is probably reeling. I like send my condolences. Of course, send your love to the Petito family. But why is this case getting covered? Well, yeah, because Brian's being weird and there's a federal manhunt for him and they can't find him. But also, Gabby Petito is a white, attractive girl. And that helps her case. 